Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is kind of a follow-up video to uh, the last video I posted about the uh, electronic throttle body injection. I'm sorry, electronic, you know, computer controlled, whatever you want to call it, throttle bodies with methanol injection. Uh, and in particular, I'm talking about the EcoBoost. Um, although you could run into the same issues with uh, any, you know, vehicle, whether Ford, Chevy, Mustang, you know, Camaro, whatever. Um, that's running an electric throttle body and spraying methanol in front of the throttle body. Um, so my solution was to put my nozzle right here behind the throttle body. Obviously they sell um, those adapter plates, uh, but I have not a ton of room. If you push this back, I'm almost into the, into the, uh, the radiator fan. So I didn't want to go with a big gigantic spacer. Also that costs money uh, where, this was free. So essentially all I did was drill a hole. I purposely put it right between these two uh, uh, braces, I guess, whatever you want to call it, uh, structural supports. Uh, I, I thought that the plastic was going to be too thin to uh, to hold the nozzle. Then once I drilled it, I realized the, the plastic over here, you know, here, the low spots, was actually incredibly thick. It's actually as, th as thick as the threads are long on the... Uh, on the nozzle itself so i ended up having to sand down the supports a little bit uh, so that i could actually thread this all the way in i don't know if this will i'll be able to get the cam in there to see where let's see mm, doesn't want to focus oh there you go you can slightly see it just barely poking through so it's basically the perfect uh, length um perfect length down um into the, the intake track it's not too far back that the the methanol won't have time to mix with the air and then um it is far enough back you can see it's sitting back about uh inch and a half maybe inch from where the throttle body meets and then on the throttle body the actual blades issue you know with the methanol seeping through these seals here there's another inch gap so Basically, during a wide open throttle run, when that thing's spraying and the air is passing through the intake pipe at over 100 miles an hour, the the methanol, in order to get back into the throttle body and cause the problems that I'm seeing, the, the basically those those water droplets or molecules or vapor, whatever you want to refer to it as, would actually have to travel upstream through air moving 100 plus miles an hour, um, a couple of inches just to get out through this little you know get at this seal so the chances of that happening are slim to none so at this point i'm happy with where the nozzle is sitting it's right up front it's easy to access if i have to um you know clean it or whatever uh, i actually have a pre-filter before this back in the, in the in the back of the truck so in theory nothing no particles should be able to get to the little filter that's in here, which I think this is uh, 80 microns, if I remember correctly, and the filter in the back of the truck is 40 microns. So in theory, anything that gets past the, the pre-filter in the back of the, t uh, the truck should be able to pass right through this nozzle without any problem, because uh, it's how it would be half the size of what this nozzle is designed to filter. So I shouldn't have to do much, if any, maintenance of it at all. Um, the I do run my... Uh, the, the engine cover the plastic cover i know a lot of people take it off claiming oh the engine runs so much cooler it's a piece of plastic it's just there to keep the noise down it doesn't make the engine run any cooler and even if it did i wouldn't need it i run 170 degree thermostat no issues with overheating even here in, in the desert 115 degree weather in the middle of summer while towing the engine never overheats so i have no purpose for taking that cover off and claiming it's to keep the engine cooler because that's nonsense um the plastic cover stops right about here so i'm not gonna have to trim it at all uh, if I remember correctly. So I'm um, again happy with that placement. The one problem you do have with spraying behind the throttle body is that the manifold is in vacuum when the engine's running, um, which could cause methanol to be siphoned out of the line, which is right here. I'm gonna trim that so it's clean. Got plenty of this stuff. Uh, what I did to resolve that issue is I bought this. Whoop, whoop. Well, assuming it still works, <laughs> this is uh, from Devil's Own. It gives you the flow direction. This is a 16 PSI one-way check valve. Um, I think I paid like 20 bucks for this, something like that. It's not that expensive. Um, essentially, you, I would run the line through this. It would take 16 pounds of pressure. Uh, I know people refer to vacuum as negative pressure. 
Um, so I think that's why they rate it in PSI. It would take about 16 inches uh, of vacuum, which this truck does not produce at idle. I think cold, it makes like 12 inches of vacuum. And then once it warms up, it's like eight inches. Um, so with that said, even after wide open throttle run, you let off the gas, it's still only pulling like 11, 12 inches of vacuum. So it's not enough to siphon methanol um, out of the tank when the engine's uh, running at vacuum or high vacuum situations. So it'll probably just sit, you know, somewhere in this neighborhood. I have plenty of this line. Like I said, it's just quarter inch brake line or uh, air brake line, uh, nylon crap. I got a ton of it over there for a different, from a different project. So that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Maybe I'll, you know, have it dangled down a little lower so it's not suspended way up here and, you know, bouncing around like this as the truck goes down the road, slowly weakening these parts. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is down there, which you can't see right now, but below that sensor is a hole in my piping where the uh, methanol used to be sprayed. So I have to plug that up. I do have plenty of threaded plugs. I'm gonna just go ahead and grab one of those. I'll stick it in there. Um, and then once I have this all hooked back up, I'll uh, pick up the camera again. Okay, so here it is all back together. Uh, 73 millimeter uh, BBK throttle body. Uh, obviously stock location methanol methanol nozzles now about an inch and a half behind it and like i said before there's about an inch gap or inch distance between the back of the throttle body and uh where the the seal actually is so it's no longer uh, an issue with the methanol getting into that seal and there's still enough time for that methanol to uh to mix um into the air so I was uh, a little concerned with this flopping around, but it's actually kind of pressed up against the intake pipe, so I'm not super worried about it. Plus, this isn't an off-road truck. It's not lifted. In fact, the back of the truck is actually two inch lower uh, than factory because I did a reverse level, as people like to call it, where I lowered the back to match the front rather than lift the front to match the back. Um, still the same line coming in from over here. Uh, the check valve sitting right there nozzle right on top real easy to service or change the size of the nozzle if i see fit uh, i'm going to go to the back of the truck turn the uh the pump and the controller back on obviously they won't work until the, the truck is keyed on and i go into boost but uh, i do have a basically a voltage interrupt switch back there so i can completely turn the kit off if i need to which is how i've been driving the truck the last week um, so i haven't had any issues with that we we'll just turn it back on and uh, when I take it for a drive later today, we'll get a chance to uh, just make sure everything works correctly, which I have no reason to think it won't. So anyways, this was my solution to uh, um, not having throttle body issues while spraying methanol. Uh, uh, obviously, I was having issues. I've had two throttle bodies go bad. And this one was starting to act up uh, during the time that I've had methanol spraying in this truck. Um, I've probably been spraying it into this truck for 50 plus thousand miles. So it's taken its toll on some of the electronics. At least, I should say only the throttle bodies. It's the only place I've been having problems. Um, and I don't wanna have to, to get another one. So at this point, uh, I'm happy with it. I don't foresee any issues going forward. Uh, if there are any issues, I'll make another video. But for now, I'm gonna consider this done, working, perfect, over.